Alrighty, thank you very much. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices, with locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. Alrighty, this morning, lots of alerts in effect, though. This is pretty much everything in effect right now from the wind alerts to the flood alerts, and even some issues over the ocean as well. Let's talk about the flood alerts here, though. We have coastal flood warnings that are posted until 5 p.m. along the coastline, though. Gusty winds out of the south going toward the north will make it interesting as we do move forward. There's also a flood watch over land because of heavy rainfall expected and storm warnings. The highest level though for the oceans because we will have gusty winds stirring up the ocean as well. So a lot of issues taking place and of course wind advisories and of course some high wind warnings also posted as well. This will last until about 1 a.m. later on Tuesday too. So lots of alerts in effect moving forward. So wave heights are not bad just yet at around at seven to nine feet. So this is enough to prompt some kind of advisory. But you notice the colors for the down to the south and that right there is going to be heading in our direction moving forward later on today. So be ready for that. Meanwhile, though, as we do to see things develop, we do have rain tracking from the south going toward the north. Not a lot of it just yet, though, but we are just getting started as more rain and gusty winds will be taking place. We'll pull this radar further down to the south here. You can see there's a lot of rainfall near the Boston area, and this is all going to be tracking off towards the north as we do move forward in time. The bigger picture looks like this. This is that system right here tracking from the south south going toward the north and this will give us a lot of fanfare today but later on tonight and parts of tomorrow things will start to calm down so future cast moving forward plenty of heavy rainfall plenty of gusty winds these black lines here indicating isobars lines of equal pressure and the way they're stacked up like this indicating some gusty winds we'll be dealing with that today and the rainfall continues throughout the daytime period until about eight to nine o'clock later on tonight the rain will begin to end and the winds will slowly begin to back off as we head towards your tuesday and once we head towards tuesday though some clouds moving through maybe some sunshine too and perhaps a few rain showers possible in a few spots, so it won't be widespread. Some of you may miss out on that. But anything that does develop is out of here pretty quickly by Tuesday evening. And Tuesday night into Wednesday, we're looking pretty good as the system finally begins to clear out of here. As for the rainfall, additional rainfall moving forward, another one to two, maybe up to three inches of rainfall before we're all finished up. So be ready for flooding potential with all this rainfall on the way. And the gusts of wind screaming up to 50 to even 60 miles per hour at times. Say so this will be a pretty strong system moving through. Then by later on, tonight and the parts of your Tuesday. That's when things will finally begin to calm down. So as for today, here we go. Upper 50s, rain and wind. The heavy rain at times will be expected. And southeast wind, not a typo, getting up to 60 miles per hour at times. Later on tonight, lower 40s, rain and wind. Now, of course, this will be calming down late, but south wind getting up to around 40 miles per hour at times. Tomorrow, a little bit better. Upper 40s, party cloudy, a few rain showers. And south wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Scott's Recreation Extended Forecast Party cloudy Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the middle to upper 30s. Then we'll be in the lower 30s Friday with a mostly sunny sky.